So the next big investment area is cloud with infrastructure as a service that we're trying to take advantage of and then we're building platforms and delivering applications as a service. And we the, the key here at the moment are the platforms. We've got two of them, the by design platform and what we call the Project River platform. On by design, we have built the by design ERP suite and a number of Dyna business applications like Sales on Demand, which was launched just today at CBIT. On the River platform, we have built, for example, the Carbon Impact application and uh, will continue to build applications. The by design based applications are more what we call core applications, transactional, very robust enterprise class applications. The River based applications are more what we call edge applications, highly collaborative. Uh, you can build them very quickly. Uh, very easy to develop, easy to use type of applications. What both of them have in common is strong backend integration capabilities, so you can integrate these apps with the on-premise systems. So this is the platform and software as a service part of our strategy. On the infrastructure layer, cloud also plays a role. This is somewhat different because now we're mainly talking about deploying existing systems on modern infrastructure. We've got external clouds like Amazon Web Services being the most prominent one, but there are many, many other ones. We've got more and more customers building their internal clouds. And of course, for quite some time, we've had virtualized infrastructures out there. We're now working heavily. We're building in a new product unit that we, we launched called Virtualization and Cloud Management. We're building tools to deploy, monitor, manage SAP systems on these modern infrastructures. And today, that is something that lets IT be more agile, uh, especially with non-production systems. They can move them between different uh, infrastructures. They can use external infrastructures when necessary. And, um, meet their business needs much, much faster at very reasonable costs. Long term, we think this is totally going to change the way that uh, business applications are developed, deployed, operated. And now we're already giving our customers the ability to deploy their existing SAP systems on these modern infrastructures. Wow, that sounds pretty pretty cool. So meaning that also TCO for all of these things would, will, will improve over time, right? Absolutely. TCO goes down and perhaps more important, the agility goes up. The, you can much faster try out new releases or run development projects or consolidation projects, whatever it is. Also with, with uh, uh, less risk, right? So if you can do that... Exactly. You don't have to buy hardware up front. You don't have to commit. You just go deploy something on an external cloud infrastructure. You pay for it uh, for the time that you actually use it. And then when you don't need it anymore, you just let it go again. And we are big customers of this ourselves. We buy tens of thousands of server hours every month from external cloud service providers for our demo systems, for training systems, for development systems that we run on these external clouds. And today uh, we have a self-service portal. It takes a few minutes to get a system as opposed to maybe three months if you have to fill out a form and wait for somebody to deliver a server to you. Yeah, so we walk the talk. We walk the talk, definitely. Perfect. So, um, so is this a complete picture? One thing missing. Last but not least, we have our in-memory technology. Oh, HANA. HANA is one incarnation of it. The core of it is the, <clears throat> the innovation we did together with Intel and still are doing together with Intel, capitalizing on two major trends in hardware. One is where about five, six years ago, the clock speed of processors stopped increasing and instead processor manufacturers went for parallelization, multi-core processors to increase the compute capacity. And the other is the memory that lives very, is becoming very large, very fast and lives very close to the processors. Putting these two things together led us to the development of what now is the uh, in-memory computing engine that essentially is a new database that is exploiting these modern processors with a high degree of parallelism and the access to very large amounts of data in memory. So you can very, very, very quickly 
perform calculations on this data. The first incarnation of this is as HANA, the high performance analytical appliance that is built as an appliance by our partners IBM, HP, Fujitsu, we have uh, Cisco, Dell coming up, and there may be many others who will build these type of uh, appliances. This comes with the in-memory computing engine, it comes with uh, some modeling, data models that we have from uh, our business objects acquisition. It comes with data replication capabilities so we, that we got from Sybase to replicate data from these uh, transactional and BW systems into this engine. It exposes the data through three different protocols. We have the BICS protocol for the business objects analytic appliance. We have SQL, so we can build apps on top of it. And we have MDX, so you can put, for example, Excel on top of all of this data. So this is absolutely fascinating. You now have real-time replication of all of your business data from all of your transactional systems into this database. You can do with sub-seconds response time, real-time analytics on this. So you can formulate queries that nobody had ever thought of that you would be asking. You ask them against this database, sub-second response time, you get an answer. You have a follow-up question, you ask again, you get another answer. So you, you come into dialogue with the data. This is very, very a new way of working with data. You really have a dialogue with your systems. You ask questions, it gives you answers. You have follow-up questions, you get answers. You have follow-up questions. So it's, it's fascinating. We've now been working with our customers exploring this. It's been, they discover every time they give us data, we put it into HANA box, we give them access to it. They discover new connections, new patterns in their data that they didn't even know was there. And then we tie all of this together to make this really real-time. Having real-time data is no fun if it sits in your data center and you're out traveling. So, of course, we have mobile access to these new applications, to these analytics. Mobile analytics is a big uh, thing that's available now. We also, of course, have this database powering our uh, on-demand solutions. So, and of course the on-demand solutions also come with easy consumption and mobile access. So all pieces of the technology strategy fit together nicely and each one of them attaches to existing SAP systems. Independent of what release the customer is on, they can still get a gateway for easy consumption, they can extend their systems through on-demand applications, they can deploy them on modern hardware and they can attach a HANA to these systems. So even existing customers on existing releases get the benefit of all of these uh, strategic technologies. So this looks for me that like the technology strategy is somehow non-disruptive, right? It is definitely non-disruptive along the lines of timeless software, the concept we developed uh, over the years, talking about really delivering innovation in a non-disruptive way. You don't want to disrupt your ERP systems, your business processes, your system of record, uh, but you want to enable new consumption models, new types of apps, new deployment models. You want to take advantage of the latest in, in infrastructure innovation, uh, but not in a disruptive manner. And that's a, a big, big principle behind all of our technology innovation. Okay. Thank you, Kai, for explaining technology strategy. I think I kind of got it. I hope our uh, uh, people here on SCN and other channels understood it too. And uh, maybe we have a follow up because I have some questions regarding some of these things and uh, we can follow up on that maybe later. Thank you, Kai. We can absolutely do that. Thanks, Rui.